The Footed Snake In September 2009, a Chinese woman, Dawn Kingzu, came face to face with a mutant snake. No. The snake had a foot protruding from its stomach, complete with four claws. The terrified woman and then put it in a jar. From there, the mutant snake made its way to the life sciences department at China's West Normal University. Experts were not overly shocked by the mutant snake, though. Apparently, snakes with strange limbs have been found before, as snakes possess the DNA to produce limbs. All it takes is some sort of manipulation of the Hox gene for a snake to produce a limb. Is that true? Is that actually the case, guys? At first, when I was watching that, I thought, no, this is doctor, there's no way. But then they went on, they're like, yeah, we took it to the lab and scientists weren't concerned because this has happened before. They possess the hawk gene? That's all it takes? You just, you, like, one little DNA mess up and now you have limbs? That's insane. How have we not seen, like, like a two-footed walking snake before? Maybe there is, I'm not sure. Comment down below, guys. Is there, like, a snake that walks with feet? I would love to see that if there is. Farm in Kujevo in oh, northeast gosh. Croatia gave birth to a very strange kid otherwise known as Octogoat. Octo the mutant goat. goat was born with twice as many legs as a normal goat. The owner of the goat, Zorak Paprik, saw the eight-legged goat and declared that it was a miracle of nature. However, veterinarians were unsure of what caused this strange mutation. The goat was born with two other perfectly normal goats, so vets were puzzled as to why this goat had as many legs as the other two goats combined. Furthermore, the goat was born with both male and female organs. What the heck? That poor goat. Like, once again, I I'm like, is this real? Is this actually 100% real? But, like, if that is the case, if that is actually what happened, there's a goat with eight legs and it has male and female, like, like it's literally both? Like, what? That's insane. That is actually, dude, life is messed up, guys. Life is so messed up. Like, if that could just happen one day, what? In the years before the Chernobyl accident, there were only three recorded incidents where abnormal farm animals had been born. After the disaster, hundreds of recorded cases were logged. Cows, for instance, because they graze in open fields contaminated by the nearby plant, started producing more and more mutants. No, they didn't glow or have superpowers, but they would have extra or missing limbs Ooh. or feature strange facial anomalies. Ooh. We can imagine scientists were utterly baffled. Okay, well guys, why are we letting the cows go where the radioactiveness is, folks? Like, this doesn't seem like a good idea to me, you know? I guess maybe if you're, you want some mutant cows, I wonder if a mutant cow would like taste the same as, as a regular cow. Are we allowed to eat mutant cows? Like, if they're radioactive, they've been eating radioactive stuff, would that transfer over? Well, a few years ago in Cordoba, Argentina, fishermen reeled in this beauty. Yup, that's a three-eyed fish. This mutant was picked up near a local nuclear plant, leading some to believe there was a leak that caused the deformity. Whatever the case, it's just evidence that even Mother Nature is now ripping off Simpsons storylines. Weird, so I actually missed that. Like, did it, it had an extra eye there then? Is that what it had? That's crazy if that's the case. That's a, honestly, that's cool. Like that's, that's, that's a very interesting fish. They said like this beauty and I agree. That is a beautiful fish right there. Cool catch, man. Take the insects around the Fukushima power plant in Japan as an example. After the 2011 meltdown, radioactive material escaped into the environment. Just one year later, researchers noticed a change in the butterflies. While they weren't glowing, these mutated insects now had thicker bodies, shriveled wings, and bigger antennae. Who knows what they're going to look like after a few more years. Weird. That's, you know, like that's not a full mutation, but that's like, you know, we're, we're evolving right now. Like something's going on in the air that we do not like. Probably what happened is, and I'm just totally spitballing here, is like all of these chemicals went onto the plants. Butterflies obviously go onto the plants. Kaboom, we are now infected. I'm surprised though that it's only butterflies and it's not other insects. Maybe it is and they just talked with the butterflies. I'm not sure. 2015, a hunter in Idaho a cougar. Approaching his trophy, you can imagine the hunter's surprise when he saw what appeared to be a second mouth coming out of the cougar's No. Head. The images were carried around the world as everyone tried to figure out what had caused this. While some simply wrote this off as a partially absorbed twin, others pointed to radiation. Apparently, mining operations have leaked high levels of radioactive selenium into the waters. Could that have played a role in creating this strange deformity? 
Wow, that's insane, guys. This is making me think. How many animals are out there that have things like this that we just, we've never seen, you know? Because the only reason that we ever saw this was he, you know, he the cougar, he got it, he hunted it. But how many of those other cougars are out there right now with other deformities like this that we've never seen? Probably a lot. We'll never even know. And this footage oh. raises a lot of questions. What we see in the clip looks like a newborn offspring of an unknown creature. It's got four what extremities and its skin looks fragile and almost transparent. Its mouth is unproportionally big with strange stains on it. The user who uploaded the video received many questions about what this creature might be. We can only guess what it will do, what it will eat and what size it will be. Maybe you can answer these questions. Man, I feel like that can't be real. Like, I don't even know how you doctor something like that, but like that straight up looks like something from Stranger Things, guys. Like that thing looks like it's about to come from like the other side and like get me, you know, like after it grows up. That is weird. If that's real, like we need to be doing some scientific experiments on that thing because uh, yeah, I hate to say it, but like, what are you, man? Like, what are you? Yet another creature from the Pripat River that looks like a fish, but has really big teeth and an uncommon skull shape. At first glance it looks like a sci-fi monster. Scientists failed to classify the unknown specimen, so they supposed that the fish had mutated in such an ugly way after an exposure to a huge dose of radiation. I don't know, I'm skeptical about that one. It's, it feels ridiculous to me that you could mutate so much to change it, like to add teeth like that. You're literally a saber-toothed fish at that point. Now, I don't think that there are saber-toothed fish, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but that seems like a massive mutation. Like its face literally looks like a horse. That's what I thought immediately was, oh, that's a horse. But then it was in the water and it's a fish. That feels like too far of a mutation. I'm skeptical. This strange fish was caught in the Pripyat River. Its body looks normal, but its head is definitely not okay. It looks dolphin, more like a yeah. pigeon's or even a dolphin's head. Anyhow, you can clearly tell this carp doesn't look like a normal fish. Such a head shape has it's... never been observed in fish before. According to scientists, this might have happened due to the radiation that poisons everything in the area. What the hell? It's still alive, guys! We're just filming this thing and like I see its mouth moving. I hope that they didn't like let it just that like that's no, I don't like that at all, folks, especially if this is like some crazy mutation. Like we need to protect this thing. This is awesome. Damn, I hope that the, the they put it back in water. This tourist walking around the areas Ooh. surrounding Chernobyl noticed a weird looking frog and decided to film it on camera. The unusual shape of its jaw is what makes it look so strange. If it was even bigger, the frog would look like an alien from a sci-fi movie. But maybe it's not a frog at all. Wow, yeah, that does not look like a frog to me at all, guys. That immediately when I first saw that, I thought that was a lizard, like a long lizard with its face, but then it was hopping away like it's a frog, so. Maybe that's, yeah, like, so like a cross right there between like a lizard and a frog. It's got the face like a lizard, but it hops like a frog. That's insane. If that's real and like around Chernobyl, I wonder how many other animals are mutated around Chernobyl. We might never know because it's kind of hard to go there, but yeah, that's crazy. All right, guys. Well, that was some mutant animals. Comment down below what you thought about this list. I've been your host, Nicholas Playalog, and I'll catch you next time. One second, I have something like hair in my face. Alright, more mutant animals. I want more. Two Arthur Crisp. What does that happen? Is that mad cow disease? No, I don't think that's mad uh, that's No. <laughs> Chris just said is that mad cow disease? I do not believe that is the case, big guy. I'm just making a joke, but I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. He was making a joke. He says that now. He says that now. We're not well, I don't know about that one, but <laughs> Alright, next. Oh gosh, what is this?